Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my miniature review of Palms. The story is about a woman named Martha, played by Diane Keaton. She is dying of terminal cancer. She has uh, no uh, major relatives. She has no children. So she decides to just move to a uh, retirement community and just basically sit around and wait for the Grim Reaper to bring forth the inevitable. But her next door neighbor, she's a, a very persistent kind of gal and befriends Martha. And together they decide to form a cheerleading club for the ladies of the community. Just something fun to do. Uh, both of them have sort of wanted to be like a cheerleader, especially Martha. She never really got the chance to be a cheerleader. So it's like, hey, let's uh, do this fun thing together. And of course, the big question is, with all of these women being of a certain seasoned age, will they be successful or will they fall flat on their faces? That old adage of go break a leg, yeah, that could actually happen <laughs> with these ladies. So I like this movie very, very much. Uh, I figured it would just be simple and charming. It is simple and charming. One of the things I love is that there's no male bashing. A lot of these uh, girl power uh, movies and stories uh, do a lot of male bashing. There's no male bashing. There are a couple of guys that are jerks, but it's never come across as, oh, this is women versus men or anything like that. No, no. It's these young, these ladies, they are just building themselves together and leaning on each other and helping each other out. And there's also some guys that are genuinely interested in seeing them succeed. So, yes, there are a couple of guys jerks, but it's never about male bashing, you know, women, 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 down, 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 men. <laughs> Another thing I like was a character played by uh, Celia Weston. The uh, character's name is Vicky. She uh, is the sort of queen bee of the community. And of course, she's the kind of gal who wants everything in its place and in its way and is uh, antagonistic towards the uh, cheerleaders. But, you know, these kind of stories sort of need a villain, and that villain is very nice. I actually wish the villain had an extra scene at the end because uh, so, uh, the character is so wonderful. And speaking of villains, uh, now this is a slight minor spoiler, but I feel I can talk about it because uh, it's shown sort of in the trailer. It's like if you watch the trailer and then as soon as the movie starts, you know this is going to happen to this character, so that's why I feel I can mention it. Uh, one of the things I didn't like was that there's a character that has a face turn. That's when someone's a bad guy and they just become good. And it's like, it makes no sense. It's unearned. The person pretty much just turns on a dime out of nowhere. I'm like, that, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't ruin the movie. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Another thing I didn't like, and this is a pet peeve, I hate it when people in movies aren't wearing their seatbelts when they drive, but I sort of wash it, you know, because that happens so often. But in this case, the character is learning to drive. The person, as far as I can tell, doesn't even have a learner's permit, and yet he's driving without a seatbelt, and the person instructing them has her seatbelt on. So it's like, you're going to teach this person all the right things about how to drive except putting the seatbelt on. I don't know how it is in Georgia, but I'm pretty sure putting the seatbelt on is uh, standard throughout all the states. <laughs> and another thing I did like was uh, the final routine. The final routine is wonderful, but the way it's edited and cut is like, I want to see the routine. And, you know, I, I don't really care about the crowd rush. I, I don't really care about, the, you know, sweeping moves. Just let me see the routine, especially there's one member of the group who has a very uh, unique moment in the routine. Let me really see that. You only see her for a second or two. I do mean that a second or two. And it's like, no, show me the routine. Okay, uh, Fred Astaire, uh, he, uh when he was dancing on screen, he would insist to be shot from head to toe. And I sort of feel that they wish they could have seen the routine more. Uh, Fred Astaire, I think, said, uh, you know, either the camera dances or I do. And so for me, as a moviegoer and as someone with a dance background, I want to watch the routine, all of the routine. Let me see as much of the routine as I possibly can. So those are my general thoughts. I do recommend this movie. Uh, very much, especially since uh, if you've seen all the superhero movies and you've uh, seen just about every other you know, big super blockbuster thing, you just want something quiet to watch, maybe with your uh, elders from Mother's Day. Yes, I definitely recommend Palms. Wonderful, charming, sweet, fun.
fun, go check it out. And if you have checked it out, let me know what you thought of the movie. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comments section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I am High Heel Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.